this machine there it's a helper okay if you have a hot piece of metal you put your punch right here and you activate the slag hammer to do the punching okay so let's see what happened if i put a brick okay sirs okay a brick Okay, let's try it. Two, three, pow! Okay, sure. Okay, we know grip not that. Okay, this is a piece of granite, okay? It might fly, I don't know. I get my mask on, okay? Little swing. Oh, oh wow, that was granite. Okay, uh, what else can I use? Uh, piece of brick again. Okay, there you go. Clay, turn to clay. Uh, so, this is the slag hammer. I do not have the proper spring. I use what I could find around. I'm looking for a car garage spring old spring from car garage to replace the bungee cord and this is the uh, okay now to have a good impact it has to be here now because this tool takes some space already i have to lower down that post drive this post in the ground more okay and then that yeah, would have a good impact to mark the piece of wood or to punch a hole in this or you know punch a hole okay thank you oh yes what if still filming yeah what if my fingers are there by accident okay okay so that can hurt okay Okay, thank you. Here's the lever, one piece. Uh, it was not long enough, so I extended with a pipe and I put different holes to, to see what would be best to use. So if I push down completely, to, no, the hammer will hit when it's in that position. Those springs are there to kind of give a rebound and give some natural swing to it. Because if you're just a row from there to there, I would press it and make bonk, bonk, bonk. But here the rope, when it gets under tension, the spring gets longer, longer. And when the pole, the rope pull, then the spring come into action to give an acceleration. Okay? That's the idea of the spring, acceleration. Okay, so this post is only like six inches in the ground. I have to dig the hole deeper, bring down, bring down our six inches. And this was my Taekwondo practice machine. In the old time, I was able to kick way up there. You see my feet now? I can still, yeah, I used to be able to kick way up there, there, okay? But not anymore. Okay, so the this is no inches. I use in old inches. I put a copper pipe inside the hole to make it a uh, better fit. And this, it can be up or down. So if I see a band there, I just turn the thing upside, upright. And the rest is just, I don't know what I was going with this. So that will be cleaned up in time. And this, the record spring to bring the hammer down including this one here okay let's do it again um, without this so this is only to be used on very hot iron otherwise it will not distort normal iron it has to be hot and malleable okay so this is how fast i can action action this
Just ways to my feet, maybe. Yeah. So my feet only go about six inches, okay? From there to there. That's it. bunch of bungee a slide hammer i think it's 12 pounds not sure and this is when this get under tension the hammer is really pulled down this gave the initial pull to the hammer like an acceleration and then the rebound too and yeah it's not wonderful but i made it I didn't invent it. I see so many variations and they all have the same idea. A sleg hammer, some are like 30 pounds sleg hammer, big sleg hammer, not this one. Okay, big, big spring. Some have a little engine. Some have a piston to replace your feet. The piston is there and it pulled the thing so hard. Uh, no, this is like basic, basic. It's called a treadle hammer it's a foot operated treadle armor my difference is i didn't put the long long everybody have the long pedals all around i'm the only working from here so i need next step uh this rod is kind of small so i'm gonna beef up that rod i have the proper shape now i know the what length i need so i'm gonna make i'm gonna attach a pedal section to this at the end to make it uh, less slippery for the foot you know here we go 